Hello friends, welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making Mexican pinto beans from scratch. So let's start making our beans. So to make the beans, I am taking these pinto beans. I soak these pinto beans for 8 hours. So as you can see, it is nicely puffed up. So now I am going to cook these beans. So to cook the beans, I am taking 1 tablespoon of oil. In this oil, I am going to add 1 cup of onion. I just finely chopped the onion. It was almost like uh, 2 medium onions. So I am going to add this onion in this. And saute onion. Saute until you have like nice pink color. Now as you can see my onion has nicely cooked. Now I am going to add 1 tablespoon of garlic. I have finely chopped the garlic. So I am going to add garlic in this and one jalapeno I have finely chopped. So I am adding jalapeno. If you do not like spicy you can add little bit less jalapeno but I like my beans a little bit spicy. So I am adding jalapeno in this. Now mix everything together very nice. And now I am going to add my pinto beans which are already soaked. So I'm going to add my pinto beans in it and give it a nice stir. And now I'm going to add salt to taste and one tablespoon of taco seasoning. You can make this seasoning at home. You can check my video to how to make taco seasoning at home. And again give it a nice stir so everything will mix together very nice. And now I am going to add 2 cups of water. And I think I will need one more. That's it. And just give it a nice stir. Now I am going to close the lid. And I am going to wait until two whistles and then I will check my beans. So I wait for three whistles and the cooker is completely cooled down. So let's check our beans now. Wow, it looks so nice. Look how nicely it's cooked. So now I am going to just give it a stir. And I am going to mash it a little bit with the help of my spoon just little bit like this you don't need to mash too much just little bit just like this so now these beans are ready to serve you can use in lots of Mexican recipe so here my beans are ready I'm just going to top with some green onions So my yummy and tasty Mexican beans are ready. I hope you like this recipe. I will see you with the next recipe. Till then, happy cooking.